okay, that, that took a bit. Uh, oh, hey everyone, and welcome to welcome aboard. I'll be your ca captain, uh, Hillian, along with first mate Rakir. And yeah, that was my first. <laughs> that was the first time uh, trying to get the steam, not the steam deck, the stream deck <laughs> with an R to work, and yeah, it worked, but with a delay apparently. So yeah, we'll have to see what's going on with that. For now. Uh, I'll just leave it at the side there. Um, anyways, welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 4, The Trial and Execution of Guybrush Streetwoods, where we face Guybrush's truest arch nemesis, Stan. No, no, that's our arch nemesis. Uh, oh, well, dear. Uh, let's see how, let's see how we're going to screw this up. <laughs> Yeah, at least I have something to calm my nerves, like toasted bread with liver paste. Yep. Uh, hello. The left honorable right. Justice K.B. Popnecker lived on the bench, died under the table. He looks oddly like me. <laughs> the right honorable Justice D.C. Grosscup. 30 convictions, zero acquittals, no survivors. Guess that means that's a helium? Wait. <laughs> also, if this is the left one, shouldn't his picture be over there and the right on on the ball be on the roll right? And yeah, we've got a stenographer <laughs> here, right? B based a stenographer is some um, those people who uh, type along to court cases to keep a yeah a, rec a written record. Um. Could you read that last bit back for me? Sadly, Mary is still somewhere at the interesting. post bottom. I don't even remember saying exsanguinate. No, no, I'm not questioning your professionalism. It's just that I don't even know the meaning of... Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, did you what? just lose an argument with the skeleton, guy, Bryce? Hey. What the heck? That paralyzed cat is creepy. Oh, it is still alive. Its eyes are moving. That paralyzed cat is creepy. What? Oh! That empty nacho plate is making me hungry. Wait, is the cat, cat being paralyzed by a hemlock? No, the hemlock is the is the owner of the cat. Uh, oh. Supposedly, it's frozen stiff due to being getting scared from the bar fight that Guybrush started in the first chapter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, who knows how long, <laughs> who knows how many days have gone by since that. <laughs> okay. Okay, can't without him, with him watching, come on. Wait, wait. Ring. Same answer. Why is that on the... Oh wait, that's the that's the X marks the spots. Yeah. I'm surprised Doro ever fell for that. Why is it always an X? Why not T marks the spot? Hey, hard tech. Defense will refrain from addressing the bailiff in open court. Sorry. Sorry. Why would you? Why did you apologize there? Okay, let's have a look stink at the pirates. Beards, common laws for common pirates. Laws? Pirates don't need no stinking laws. Fine, then we'll proceed with the execution. On the other hand, maybe I could use a few good laws right now. Guy Brush. Pirates had a load of rules. Yeah. Uh, I don't actually know uh, any of them, or any specific ones, but there was a pirate code, yeah. Like there was one whale of a fender bender while the winds were blowing out. That's why I always sail defensively and carry state arm insurance. But they also had the the code and rules. Like each had each ship had usually its own rules. I bet he'd fall apart on the stand like a cheap leather jacket. What was he mean leather jackets? But you know, yeah, many of the captains have street rules to keep order on the ship. Yeah, 
because you can't have people just doing just about anything on a ship. You're going to have some order. Yeah, I mean, even what come to make gambling illegal on ships? Okay, he probably was thrown off real quick. Uh, and that's my own time. I kissed Elaine under the mistletoe, and a rotting corpse fell on me. Um. Okay, uh, right. I was just saying. I think it wasn't even the uh, captain forbid his crew to gamble on land. Probably just to avoid having. Yeah, boar fights and uh, yeah, people cheating all that. Yep. Don't think he'd last Sword long. Sword of Lustitia? Goddess of justice, you illiterate swab! Okay, let's have a word with Stan if possible. Hey, Stan. Ah, no fraternizing between the defense and prosecution while court is in session. If you want a gab, call for a recess. Stan is being okay. oddly friendly. Uh, you want to like call a recess to confirm with my client? I am my. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's call Hardtack. In, if it pleases the court, I'd like to call Bailiff Hardtack to the stand. Bailiff Hardtack. Oh, that's me. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling backstabbing pirate? I suppose. Bailiff Hardtack, could you tell the court about your claim against Guybrush Threepwood? Well, uh, back on Spinner K, <coughs> I was getting ready to bury me modest chest of treasures, you see. My collection of spaghetti strainers, my silver paprika shaker, and so on. When all of a sudden, this three-foot bloke runs up to me, waving his arms and telling me to look out for a three-headed monkey that's right behind me. <gasps> well, naturally, I turned and looked, but there was nothing there. <coughs> when I regained my composure, three-foot was nowhere to be found. And worst of all... Yes? He dug up my perfectly good ex. It's ruined now. Oh, come on. He's all Bullshit. yours, buddy. Stan is right. being oddly friendly still. Yeah, but expecting us to just we, we do, ourselves over. We, we don't know what happened in the last game. Uh, I know Stan appeared there somewhere, uh, but he yeah. was uh, he was an enemy of the Australian <laughs> guy as well. I'm not sure if he had much of a role there. Yeah, oh yeah, we, we lost sound we saw him boss game before. Lost game we had to abandon before we even got to see him. Yeah. This whole story about your ex is a big fat lie, isn't it? No, sir. That's good. Come on, you're lying. Admit it. No, sir. Phantom. Wait, oh, that's what in Frago means. <laughs> Oh, you got me, sir. But why? Well, I didn't have anything else to do after you killed me boss and left me without a job. <coughs> oh, I could have charged you with that instead. Oh. <laughs> Your Honor, I move for a mistrial. Granted! Bailiff Hardtack! As punishment for wasting this court's time, you will be compelled to wear Lizig's wig of foppery until such time as I am no longer tempted to gavel you into a fine paste! The hell? Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's delightful. It looks actually pr decently good on him. <laughs> <laughs> he still moves back in there. Uh, well, that's one piece of evidence against us off the table. Uh, hmm. Still going to be a bit of... I forgot what we did with <laughs> with the nacho thing. Like, so, oh, someone got burnt with... How do you get burnt? Oh, you got, I got burnt on the cheese, I think. Uh, though our only real crime here, well, except for the bar fight, was uh, this forgery. <laughs> but, yeah, let's have a 
Let's actually call for a recess just to see what we can talk about with Stan. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig. Aye, aye, Your Honor. Still that freaking effect on him. Well, at least I'm not about to be dissected by a crazy scientist. Now to break out of here, find Elaine and use La Esponja Grande to... Wait, hey, what? What happened to my cool voodoo sponge? All possessions will be returned to the prisoner once he has been cleared of all charges. In the likely event that the prisoner is not cleared of all charges, his property will be distributed to his heirs. But I don't have any heirs that I know of. Then they'll be auctioned off at eBay. <laughs> really? <laughs> eBay? <laughs> okay, that one, that one came out of red left. <laughs> That one came so far out of left field, it came from the right. <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. Uh, okay, going to be a bit difficult to chat with Stan if, if we are in here. So I guess there was a way of him screwing with us. Uh, I'd say, I kind of like glad I went to eBay instead of, well, Something like your bay or something like that. This part of the wall looks like it's made of pretty loose stuff. I wonder if I could dig my way out. Uh, why did we get out here? Yeah, because Stan suggested calling a recess, except which, mm, expect, uh, which made, it, which was supposed to make us think we could actually talk with him instead of just ending up in here. So what is with that stuff over there? Is, are those barnacles? Probably barnacles. Hey, guard! What do you want? Aren't I entitled to some bread and water? Bread and water? <laughs> I pride myself on providing Flotsam's prisons with the finest in her cuisine. Wait here. Wait here. Wait, what? That's funny. I didn't expect him to actually go get us something. What do you know? I guess it wasn't so loose after all. <laughs> no, it's called not so loose bar. Come on. Okay, now. This, this game does really have its moments, even if it can be pretty annoying at times. Oh, there he comes. Where's my dinner? <laughs> my whole cuisine. Oh, the prisoners don't get any food. That's for the gods and judges. Delicious, too. Jerk. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's. <laughs> oh, that's mean. Hey, guard. What do you want? What's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? There's a bar right over there. All you gotta do is get released, and you can walk right in. Oh. I guess Guybrush has a lot of this coming for him, screwing around with this island before. Yeah. Has this jail got any reading material? I'd suggest reading your legal briefs. You might need them. Good tip. I'll get right on that when I need something to put me to sleep. Nothing. Well, you'll get plenty of that in there. Okay, we actually do have some court briefs, so let's take a look. We have this broken axe. Okay, these we also yeah, again with this. Yeah, look, we already see those. Uh, can we use the? What's that noise? Nothing. Okay, oh. So we can't try to we can't try to dig our way out with uh, our hook, but he's going to hear hey, that. Guard, what do you want? Aren't I entitled to some bread and bread? And okay, Wait here. here. Huh. That's funny. Now let's try this. I thought he'd never leave. What the? It's solid steel under here. <laughs> steel fortified answer wall. Okay. <laughs> what do you know? 
guess it wasn't so loose after all. It, it typically in a game like this, when you get thrown in the jail, you can just dig your way out or find some loose break, but <laughs> I guess these people got wise to all of that bullshit. Where's my dinner? Um, my whole cuisine. Oh, the jerk. <laughs> Hillian, have you thought something very obvious here? Mm -hmm. They are all pirates. Yeah, they're used to, bre <laughs> to breaking out. Hey, guard, what do you want? I want to see my lawyer. Your lawyer? Yeah, you might have heard of him. Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Fine. And this is why people buy sometimes that how to make you the Maybe you're in the place. That should be more than enough for this piece of scum. I hope you had a good excuse for dragging me out of bed at this ungodly hour. Guybrush. I'm worried about my wife, Counselor. She hasn't sent me a letter in weeks. I wouldn't worry about her, Guybrush. We're taking very good care of her on my estate. Very good care. You scurvy backstabber! I'll... Guard! I'm quite done with my client! I'll get you, Threepwood, if it's the last thing I do! Oh! Uh... Guybrush is already getting cabin fever, I see. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Threepwood. I know those prisoners can be a rowdy lot. Make nothing of it, Mr. Hardtack. Now, where can I find a good grog? Club 41's right over there, sir. Uh, <laughs> it actually freaking worked. Oh! <laughs> Hello? Hello? You! Tomorrow? <laughs> okay, Dora, what the hell? Yeah, what What happened to your eye, yeah? What happened to your eye? i tell you what happened to my eye, smarty guy. When I dug up that phony dark ninja day, if you planted... Allegedly planted? <laughs> Allegedly planted. I got a speck of dirt lodged in my eye. A week later, it got infected. And Dr. Descent had to cut it out. Yeah, I just bet he did. Now I need a glass eye. Oh... I'm pretty sure you have someone else to <laughs> with a lot stronger case to blame for that. Uh, yeah, what are really? you in for? I got arrested for trying to auction a counterfeit Dark Ninja Day figurine at eBay. eBay? You know, that day with the auction thing. Oh, yeah. Luckily for me, Stan got me a reduced sentence in exchange for my testimony against you. Me? What did I do? You were the one that made the counterfeit Dave in the first place. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Technically, since he didn't know that it was uh, a fake, uh, he c I don't think he really could have been... Uh, <clears throat> well, unless he figured out it was a fake in between. Um, he technically didn't commit any crime because he didn't know he was holding <laughs> counterfeit goods. Well, you know, pirates. You know, I can't help but notice that you don't seem to be afflicted by the pox of LeChuck. Oh, don't remind me. All the other pirates have gotten the pox, so why not me? You thought about the possibility that you might not actually be a pirate? I am too a pirate! Okay, okay, you are a pirate. I'm sure the pox will be coming for you any day now. I'll say you don't want the pox. Yeah. Why does this stupid thing keep on silencing himself? Was a ring hurt there? Uh, nope. Okay, then I'm guessing the the audio filters are filtering it out, but I'm still going to mute this thing yet again. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh. Why do you want a glass eye? An eye patch is much more piratey. Eye patches are so last month. All the cool pirates are getting scary glass eyes these days. The hooks are still cool, right? Grrr. I guess, but you really can't beat a glass eye. Uh, so wouldn't you want to, well, close that eyelid or cover it some something? Yeah! Associating with hardened criminals like you can't be good for my legal situation. I'm out of here. Adios! And... Of course, Stan. Wait, did he? Did he owe the newsstand? Uh, I 
Yeah, I'll drive to the dinner. Sorry about that, it's a visitor. I think she put a freaking lock or something on this door. It's made of freaking glass, so that's a bit hard. Anyways, uh, yeah. Same stand has taken over the, the smaller news stand. I'm curious if we'll run into that guy again. Well, was that... I'm, I'm drawing a blank on if that was hard attack or not. Also, Stan is already merchandising us. Stan's courtroom souvenir emporium? What happened to the Keelhauler Gazette offices? The Keelhauler? That's old news, Threepwood. Get it? Old news? <laughs> the whole Keelhauler operation was bought out and shut down by those bigwigs at the Flotsam Times weeks ago. Oh, I bet Davy Nipperkin didn't like that. Are you kidding? Old Nipperkin made out like a bandit. I heard he's getting ready to retire on his share of the sale. Okay. And so it has really been weeks since all of this bullshit on Flotsam Island before. Yes, it's so oh, he had been hey there, writing too much. I know you're curious about the behind-the-scenes working of Stan's courtroom emporium, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to step away from the door. Why? Because that's where Stan works his magic, kid. It's where my dreams become reality, and some of my realities become dreams. So, it's where you're sleeping? Yeah, but only until this souvenir business picks up. Uh, I, I was trying to click on the stuff here. Yeah, and it, 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 I guess it makes sense he got a lot of money, considering he been there for quite a while and probably written a dang lot of stuff. Yeah, that he probably also been... fleeced them for as much as they, you know, they, yeah, yeah. He probably also fleeced them for as much as yeah, he could, uh, <laughs> just because they were his rivals. Yeah, not the heck. Why is there wet carpet here? Looks like someone's finally getting around to cleaning the carpet that got, um, stained during my bar fight. <laughs> okay. Why he stained man. like that? I brush sleep wood. Nice to see you out and about, kid. Hope they haven't been treating you too badly in the Huska. Well, there is a pretty scary looking rat in my cell. At least I hope it's a rat. Well, that's just swell, kid. Look, could you get out of the way and make room for some paying customers? Uh, what paying customers? <laughs> I noticed that you're remarkably free of the pox. Nothing remarkable about it at all, Threepwood. Haven't you been paying attention? The pox only affects real 100% honest to blackbeard pirates. Now, I've been many things in this life. A salesman, real estate agent, a troubadour, stevedore, a ralphador, and even a brief what? but memorable stint as an exotic dancer to pay my way through law school. But one what? thing I'm not and never will be is a pirate. Ah. Okay. Well, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to get this... I'm getting the feeling that the one way to fix this stupid thing is going to be by have everyone who is a pirate declare themselves not to be one or something. <laughs> it, it, if you listen a bit closely, you can li hear his freaking theme. Oh no! <laughs> what are you doing out here? Shouldn't you be prepping for trial? Hey, no offense, kid, but the day old Stan can't beat you in open court with one wildly flapping arm tied behind his back is the day I haul my corpus juris back to Jambalaya Island for the full restitutio and integrum. Know what I mean? Not really. Exactly. So if you're not preparing for trial, what are you doing out here? Following Stan's rule number one, ABM. ABM? Always be merchandising. People love following the trials of famous pirates, even B-list pirates like yourself. Oh, wait. B-list? That's why old Stan got all the souvenirs and timeless keepsakes you'll ever need to remind you of this month's Trial of the Century. This month's Trial of the Century. So how the hell did you get an act your finger made this quick? Or were you always planning on selling Guy Rush's image? Hey, Leon, uh, uh, where's my hammer? You know, where, where's my war hammer? Uh, you know, yeah, what? You the water. Get me the Drake gun. 
I can burn him. How are sales going? Great. Celebrity merchandise is always a good investment, especially if you suspect that the celebrity in question is about to become a wind chime in the gallows. Nothing sells like dead celebrities. Yeah? Well, I don't plan on dying today. And I didn't plan to wear the same jacket for 20 years, but here we are. And um. you? <laughs> Uh, that explains it. That jacket is so... <laughs> the jacket is so dirty that reality itself wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> Stan, I... about these charges. <clears throat> Sorry, kid, can't talk. Conflict of interest, attorney, pirate privilege, and all that stuff. But la 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 la, not talking to you about it. Dick. I know I'll kick myself for asking, but what sorts of trial souvenirs are you selling? The question you should be asking is what kind of souvenirs am I not selling? Behold, the People vs. Threepwood collection. Hey, a little me. That's right, Threepwood, a faithful reproduction right down to the lacy garter belt. Hey, yep. I only wore those once. It is I, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Yeah. Sounds nothing like me. Yeah, I know. To be honest, your real voice didn't focus test all that well. Uh, what's that? Wait. That, my piratey friend, is a little novelty I like to call draw the beard on the guy brush. Using the power of magnetism and iron shavings, you can give Flotsam's most notorious <laughs> criminal an infinite array of amusing and degrading hairstyles. Observe. What the? This one doesn't have a magnet. And look, it's leaking iron shavings. This is what you get when you use shoddy Fat Island labor. <laughs> Fat Island, call back again. <laughs> uh. Is that supposed to be you? None other. Now you and your friends can relive the trial of the century while lounging around in this comfortable polyblend t-shirt, emblazoned with the iconic image of yours truly, a crusading attorney bringing his no-holds-barred brand of justice to Flotsam Island. Dear. On second thought, say no more. No matter how many times I see it, I can't get over your jacket. You like it? I just had it in for its annual re-stitching and de-resing. De-resing? What? <laughs> see you in court, Stan. Hey, that's pretty funny. <laughs> because we will. Uh, Hans, he, he's actually bored. Honorable this time. Yeah, probably because he has to behave himself now that he has a law decree. Because if he does it, he's going to lose it. <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, wait, is that a new voice actor for him as well? Uh, yeah, I th it he doesn't sound like he did last time. So there is a good chance that's a different voice actor. Yeah, for... it, 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 might, it might have helped. It once changed its restricted policies. I guess so. Probably for the to let him in. First, uh, is that is that the D croc? Let's the, all look here. Nice dark is, Isn't it though? Ah, it was one of the few things I managed to salvage when I was washed ashore on Flotsam all those years ago. Can I play around? Unfortunately, the darts were lost a few weeks ago, during a bar fight. <coughs> and pity, too. What with the annual Flotsam Island dart tournament tomorrow night? Okay, that can be blamed on Guybrush. So, it sounds like we may earn a favor, and also, is that the crop that, you know, ate Captain Hook? I find it a bit doubtful, but I'm guessing there's going to be at least one reference to that. <laughs> Technically, we could have made that joke ourselves with the... the guy who could have made that joke himself with the hook and all. Yeah, that's what, you know, why I'm worried. What's that artistic abomination? Ah, that be a painting of Flotsam Island's notorious jungle beast, painted by our own Hemlock McGee. Hemlock? Really? Aye, Aye. No one knows more about our legendary beastie than old Hemlock. And 
I believe Hemlock is the one with the, the two peg legs. Uh, what's that? Is that painting of her in the bar? Oh, no. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I mi miss Soda badly due to mind pixelation at the moment. That's. That's the I... chieftain of the mermaids. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be really awkward uh, when we explain to the locals that that's not a lady. Well, do we even know that I, I was sure that that's a lady or not? No, well, they were referred to as a he many times. Yeah, but also mm. keep repeating. Me I mean, she. A lot. Me pleasure. These come with our complimentary Club 41 insulated volcano shot glasses. Hewn out of molten lava. They can keep hot liquids hot for a week. Impressive. Uh, how are you paying for this guy brush? Ooh, that's some hot grog on grog action. I'll just save this last one for later. Uh, sorry for interrupting you earlier. It was, uh, I was at, uh, they, they kept going back and forth with calling the shift and he or she, for they sounded very unsure themselves. If you thought they said he, I mean she, as a sentence, as corrected himself. Hmm. I guess the fish so, people themselves can't even tell which of them is male or female. Also... Blood Island Volcano shots. <laughs> Another callback. <to laughs> this time to uh, Curse oh, of Monkey Island. I think they can. Uh, the Murphy, I think they can see the difference between themselves. Yes. I have a suspicion they enjoy messing with people. Yeah. It, Let's see. Ah, this wait. must be the screaming narwhal that my ship is named after. Creepy. I was just to ask, what was that? Is that the screaming normal? It looks like screaming, but uh, it made the joke itself. And what now the that heck? I spent some time inside these docile Don Juans of the Deep, I feel kind of queasy about seeing their heads mounted on a wall. What is this? Wait, why is hmm. it? Why is the manatee's head on a wall? Like, there's no challenge. The what? That's like putting a mice on the wall as a trophy. It's it's cruel and pointless. Uh, what is with this thing here? It's empty from the looks of it. And there's some sort of challenge. I, I can't tell what that might have might be. It sounds like it, it looks like it could be an E. That's a number. Uh, J O. Uh, I think it says three hundred. Hmm? Where? I'm looking I think you're missing three hundred challenge. That's that's a J. Unless it's thirty G something. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, Morgan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Morgan. Hello. Uh, oh, she looks miserable. Yeah. Not that I'm complaining, but why did you turn down to Singe's contract to hunt down my wife? I may be a backstabbing mercenary, but even I have some standards. Sure, now you have standards. Shame they couldn't have shown up before you, oh, cut off my hand or knock me unconscious and drag me back to Flotsam Island. What can I say? I'm complicated. When did we hear that she might... <laughs> that she was... Offered a job to hunt down a lane? I don't remember that. Also, this sign here. For the ladies, the men, and the pirates. <laughs> uh, what did okay. the singe want with the lane, anyway? You heard the man. Something to do with your unique strain of box? I guess he thinks your wife has it, too. Pretty sure the box is the same on everyone. Then again, we've been the only one with uh, <laughs> a zombie hand. You look uncharacteristically grim. Eh, it's been one of those days. 
Oh, I know what you mean. Betraying your childhood hero can really take it out of you. Hey, that was just business. Your business sucks more than the winds of flotsam. Sometimes. What are those scary-looking drinks? They're a row of Blood Island volcano shots. They look painful. Only the first one. Yikes. You already downed a little bit of guy for us. Hmm. I think you should know that I'm still really angry with you. Would it help if I bought you a drink? What, so you can poison me? I'll pass. Good point. <laughs> I don't think at this point she'd do much against us. Yep. I'm not even sure you can hunt people who are in jail. I noticed that you're without pox. I'm pox free. Tested on a regular basis. Well, do you know why? Probably because I'm not really a pirate, since I'm a pirate hunter. Gotta like a pox that respects minor semantical distinctions. Uh, this is a... This is a supernatural pox. Yeah. It's voodoo. Of course, it's going to, well, be specific with how it, well, do. Yeah, and pirates are superstitious. This helps his powers run a lot. You know, if you have even a scintilla of a guilty conscience, I could really use your help. Listening? Well, there's this trial going on. So I've heard. Some guy was trying to tell me that it's the trial of the century. E e e. Yeah. E. Well, I could really use some trumped up evidence. Or a few intimidated witnesses. Or maybe a well-placed briber tent? You couldn't afford me. Of course. How silly of me. It's all about the pieces of eight with you, isn't it? Not always. I also accept pieces of nine. I think I, I heard something about what pieces of eight actually are. They, it's just a different name for, a di for one of the currencies of the Caribbean, but I forget specifically which. So you're saying it's slang for a certain currency? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I can see you've got inner demons to wrestle with, so I'll just get on with my life. Thanks. And watch out for DeSinge. That thing he did with his finger was unnatural. What thing? Uh, I, I think she means the, the old finger movements he has going on. I don't think... Maybe I got the grown used to f freaky finger gestures. Other than nacho sauce burned Krebs' leg. Uh, wait, what? Uh, guy was just giving a hint. <laughs> yeah, well, wait, wait, wait. L l let's talk to that again for... I think I... I think I need to hear that again. For a concern in what manner it phrased that. He said he'd bet his left leg that something else burnt that guy's uh, leg instead of nacho cheese. All right, for otherwise I wasn't worried what the heck was in the nacho cheese to burn through a leg. I wonder what happened to Murray. Uh, so, hello. Well, that's a strange place for a sugar sack. I keep it up there to draw away the ants. Ooh. No. Okay, <laughs> well, at least they... You'd want to be careful if anything hits that thing, though, because you'd probably sour someone with ants. Yeah, no, wait. Uh... Who's that? Or rather, who was that? <laughs> we can't interact with it, so I guess that'll be a mystery. What's this? That'll be Club 41's famous Flotsam Island Ladies' Night Buffet Table. In a few hours, it'll be spilling over with flaming chocolate cupcakes, barbecued narwhal horns, deep-fried petty fours, and all that other girly stuff that our swashbuckling lady pirates love. Um, I don't think it's narwhal actual horns they eat. Says you can't yeah. eat a horn. So, moving on. Also, flaming chocolate. I think I have a feeling what that other, what might have actually caused the burn. No, 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 yeah. Hold on, yeah. flaming chocolate muffins. Occupied. Sorry. 
What the? Okay, and last but not least, the judge. Judge Grindstump? Oh, please, no need to be so formal. In here, I'm just plain old W.P. Grindstump, owner and proprietor of Club 41. Okay, I think that explains a bit of why he's so pissed <laughs> off with uh, the whole bar fight thing. Aren't you a little upset that I'm running around free? Heavens no! <laughs> what kind of pirate town would this be if we didn't condone the occasional jailbreak? What a remarkably progressive attitude. Besides, it's not as though you can really escape the swinging sword of Flotsam Justice. What with these blasted winds blowing in again? Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Ladies' night is looking a little, uh, grim. Well, it's early. Uh, once we got the buffet table laid out, this place will be hotter than the devil's knickers. <laughs> Just um, how many female pirates are there on this island? I think it's only Morgan. So you're really the owner of Club 41? Have been ever since I won it from the original owner in a dart tournament a few years back. Poor old guy never knew what hit him. And by hit him, you mean... A dart! Right in the old noggin! Uh, well, that's one way. <laughs> I guess if Klingon... Uh, if Klingons had darts, uh, that would be how they'd... <laughs> make themselves champion. Oh dear. Why not do it like a Viking? Don't want a few access. <laughs> I think that's probably done in a few places. Yeah, it's a common trope in movies. I don't know if he actually did it, though. Pro and cons, sure. Why is this place called Club 41, anyway? You know, I don't rightly know. <coughs> the last owner never got a chance to tell me before he succumbed to his dart-related injuries. <laughs> Barkeep, I'd like to order a drink. Brilliant! Will you be paying with doubloons, triploons, coupons, or flat in fur shafts? Actually, I'm a little light right now. Oh, no problem. I'll start up a tab. You will? That's so unlike, well, every place I've ever been in my life. Well, it's not like you're going to skip town on me, am I right? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah, then again, if he's executed, then he can't pay. Yeah, and again, people, a pirate captain hates when the crew have stepped. Set me up with a grogatini, with a twist. Oh, I'm so sorry. We don't serve grogatinis anymore. Uh, the pirates kept gagging on the little porcelain swords. Uh, okay. Porcelain swords. Oh, uh, dear. <laughs> I get the feeling that's going to be one way to uh, get rid of the, well, fake Ninja Day by putting in an, an actual little sword instead of just a... Sp <laughs> uh, <clears throat> instead of it, just uh, a plastic thing or something. No, no, I think he's using a, a porcelain sword. Yeah, at the moment he's used... Actually, yes, I, I actually... <laughs> now that I think about it, yeah, we used one of those little swords from the drinks to put that in. And yeah. So that door is Plastic has not been invented yet. One grab. Neat. Coming right up. Ah, bracing. Okay. Well, this has been a little strange, but uh, I've got a name to clear and a pox to cure. Uh, good luck with that. He's actually pretty friendly when, uh, well, he doesn't have complete power and control over life and death of someone. Oh dear. When I was a young pirate, I used to lie awake on the deck of my ship and gaze at the seagulls as they majestically swooped and bobbed through the evening sky. And then they started pooping on me. So I stopped doing that. I knew it was something. But... When singles at the beach, they are fine. Just when they go get into the cities, is when they become a, a very big nuisance. Yeah, because then they go after the, the trash bags, which is 
Well, for a while it was a pretty big problem over here, but I haven't heard of it for quite a while, so I'm guessing the seagull population has been pretty thinned out, and also this. Yes, so far they've been actually being quite... I, I have not yet yeah, been woken up oil. by a not seagull orchestra. Oil. Oh, that's uh -oh. not right. Okay. Manatee oil? I, I don't know if they even have that kind of oil to begin with. But blob or sure, but I, I, I do guess they were hunted a bit due to well. I think. Oh god, he's gonna be feel awkward to, to say it. it's like the dodo. I mean, sorry, Hillian. But they're tasty. Uh, yeah, I, I guess you could squeeze oil out of just about any fat. Uh, are you telling me I could squeeze out oil from you? Wait. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. That's yeah. a theoretical question. I did not mean to insult you there. Uh, technically, yeah. That's kind of disturbing. Well, it's, how, it's one of the main ways to get a hot man to kill with my bare hands. Wait, what? Yeah. In Graveyard oh, Keeper, you can. You can run, uh, yeah. You can run bat harvested from corpses through a, a press to make oil. Oh dear! I almost feel guilty about this. Almost. Bulletin. Oh lord, yeah. It, 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 Club Forty One open to the public. Well, that's a welcome change of pace. I'm so glad the mantis did not go extinct, but they are endangered. Well, I think they've been recovering, but there's still strict laws to, well, not hurt them. Yeah. Uh, I think I've brought this up a time or two already in other streams, that this broad, uh, red uh, bit here, uh, that shows that it's a female uh, gull, because, well, the chicks peck at that to notify their parents that, uh, yeah, they're hungry. Can't go that way. All right. I, I recall even seeing that on YouTube on a video. And uh, as I in Sweden, it, seagulls not a big problem here. They're just loud here in Sweden. But the other countries, yeah, they may swoop down. And actually, this was I saw on a video. I don't know which country it was, but a seagull swooped down and stole a whole pizza from the box someone left open and flew away with it. Okay, good thing that I only just put my lips to the, the bottle, because if I was drinking when I heard that, I would have been fake. <laughs> well, I can say this, it, it was... I mean, it was one of those smaller American pizzas, but it was also a thin one, it was a thick one. And that explains how it didn't tear. Um... Yeah, it, it, it flopped in this mall. Um, flopped in this beak. And someone filmed it, Mitt. They would have. Hey, we were so pizza that they moved the camera up and spotted the damn seagull flying away with it. I don't think I've actually uh, said this on the stream or anything. I know I've told people, but uh, one of our uh, previous cats, uh, uh, one day they came home with something curious. Uh, they came home with a, a, hot, a hot sausage, which they must have, they could have only stolen from someone's dinner plate. Yeah, 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 I thought you were saying, about to say because they came home with a dead seagull. Uh, no, we've had one that has, well, killed plenty of flying things, <laughs> ranging from uh, pigeons to bats of all things. But pigeon? That's pretty big for a cat, but but not impossible. But not what you usually see cat go after. Yeah. Hear ye, hear ye! Having finally captured the vile criminal Guybrush Threewood, the right honorable Judge Wallace P. Grindstump has been recalled from his summer vacation to adjudicate and pass sentence on the loathsome reprobate. A public execution has been scheduled for dawn in the town square. Sandwiches will be provided. B Y O G. Well, at least there will be sandwiches. Wait, B I O G? Bring your own grog. Oh. oh Wait, so how do you know it was grog? Uh, because I've heard this phrase, bring your own drinks, or something like that before. Oh. Also, I'm, I'm, 
I'm more surprised by you buying less <laughs> surprised that the cats caught damn bats. Uh, uh, well, d depends on a, a small bat I could see happen, a small one, but a pigeon? What well, pigeon do, are not really aggressive, but... Yeah, it's one of those uh, you, you don't usually see a cat go after in the size. Uh, most bats around here usually at least rat sized. Really, um, uh, something. Hey, isn't she a beauty? It's a prototype of my swashbuckling Susie long lasting leg lamp. <laughs> that crystal on top will glow for days. Don't you think it's a little tacky? Nah, pirates love this kind of stuff. <laughs> Low surprise appearance. Uh, um... so what the hell are you up to in there? And uh, yeah, there are certainly people who like tacky stuff like that. Yeah, but that I. Mm. Hello there, uninformed man on the street. What do you want? <laughs> Don't tell me you're still blowing glass. Surely a dry cleaning business would be more profitable. It just shows what you know, Binky. People are clamoring for crypt digits unbreakable tubes. Clamoring! What people? Well, just one person, really. But he ordered a huge supply. Don't ask me why. Why? I told you not to ask me that! <laughs> that means that he doesn't know, Guy Bruce. Or he's not allowed to, but yeah. Why did someone order all those tubes? I told you not to! I uh, must have that leg lamp. I must? Forget it, Skinny. I'm not letting go of a perfectly good prototype. She hasn't got a mark on her. Well, sure, but hold on. Did you just call me Skinny? I've seen skeletons fatter than you. It's not my fault you associate with the obese undead. Okay, that was a good comeback. <laughs> I see you can make a glass leg, but tell me, can you make a glass eye? Aye. But not just any glass eyes. Genuine imitation eyes made from the crystal wreaths themselves. Genuine imitation eyes? That's right. They'll imitate the eye color of anyone they see. Yeah. You just point them at someone's eyes, give them a few seconds to set, and shazam! All new eye color. When you got a color you like, just pop it in your eye socket, and it'll stay that way forever. I'm intrigued and cautiously optimistic. How much? Here, try out this defective one for free. Yeah, defective? Hi, it's a little nearsighted. So you'll have to get up real close to the subject to capture their eye color. Thanks. I take back all the nasty things I wrote in my diary about you. Do you have a diary? Do you have a diary? No. I think this is a yes. How does it feel to be hideously diseased? How do you think it feels? <laughs> mm, bad, I'd say. Pretty bad. You got that right, Missy. Okay. Are you not outraged by this ridiculous trial? Well, I'm just glad that scum sucking Threepwood will finally be brought to justice. Uh, I'm Threepwood. Speaking of which, shouldn't you be in a holding cell or something? We, uh, get a ten-minute break every hour. It's the law. Uh, um... I'll see you in your, um, pectorals later. Yeah, well, the three of us will be waiting. <laughs> Free? The pectorals, uh, muscles on the chest. Two of them. But he said three. Yeah. Eat two packs and one him. <laughs> Oh. Hello there. Morgan left Mr. Winslow circling the island, just outside the reach of Flotsam's winds. Okay. Uh, we could look at the box clouds a bit earlier. And, yeah, Martak isn't going to let us get out of here into, into the jungle, it seems. Uh, hello there, Hamlock. Hi there, Twinkle Toes. Enjoy your last moments of freedom, cause you're going to pay for what you did to Miss Pretty Whiskers. 
I'd be happy to pay. Do you accept traveler's checks? Hi, Raj. Pretty whisker. I, I, I'm happy you knew what to name a cat at least. Uh, at least he did make, call it the cat and his pussy. Lord, they had a horrible name. <laughs> How's Miss Grungy Whiskers doing? Her name isn't Grungy Whiskers, you lover licker. It's Miss Pretty Whiskers. I was getting pretty really used to this. <laughs> yeah, just a weird, innocent face. How's the box treating you? Oh, not too bad. I didn't really need that lung I coughed up. Yeah, vestigial lungs are the worst. Uh, well, Technically, both lungs are vestigial, since you can survive with one, but uh, you'll want to keep hang up both if possible. Yeah, like, you can survive with one, but it's, um, has limitations. Yeah, I was trying to think of a pun with breath taking there, but, well, <laughs> taking a lung away is taking a breath away. Boom! What exactly are you doing? Mixing up Miss Pretty Whiskers' food. What's it to you? Can I have some? No. But why do you want cat food? Because guy brush is guy brush. What exactly are you doing? Try. She's probably just not getting enough iron in her diet. Okay, I, I thought that was just going to be a repeat line, but yeah, he's trying to feed a cat that's paralyzed. <laughs> I hear you may know something about Flotsam's so-called jungle beast. None have seen the jungle beast, but tis the scariest, false, melanous thing you ever didn't see. A dark jungle god that walks the land only by dead of night. Dark jungle god? Aye. T'was said to live within the stomach of the god of death, feasting upon corpses. Until one day, death ate some bad shellfish and upchucked the jungle beast into existence. <sighs> but if you haven't seen it, how do you know it exists? Because it eats. To appease the beast, we've left many a fleshy sacrifice on the jungle altar. By morning, the meat disappears from the altar without a trace. Disappearing meat. Yep, Jungle God's the only explanation. I think I know who it is. It is going to be the voodoo lady, isn't it? Uh, no, no. No, no. Did you get the hint what he was saying? Uh, which hint? God of Death ate bad shellfish, bat out the jungle beast. Think about it. What people do we see get eaten again? I don't think <laughs> I don't think there's a giant manatee hiding in the jungle. No, no, no. But the person could be spat out from a manatee and swam back here. See ya. Mark my words. It might be one of them. Hmm. Can we slip? Uh-oh. Hemlock's cat is catatonic enough without adding mixed drinks to the equation. <laughs> okay, at least that's good. Oh, it, the cat is still moving a bit. It can move its jaw. That paralyzed cat is creepy. What the hell is going on over there? Yeah, we're going to have oh. to admit... We're going to have to screw with this cat at some point. Oh, hello. Please, bubble? We have a bunch of these. You've got to get some of this incredible bacon grease. <laughs> there. Now my jacket and my pants smell like bacon. What? I could roll back to the screaming narwhal, but without La Esponja Grande, I'll never be able to cure Elaine. And if I show up without Elaine's wedding ring, she'll probably kill me. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, and also I just realized Hella got two peg legs. I almost have forgotten that. Yeah. Wait, does that mean you two are related? No. 
<laughs> what is going on here? What the? Ow! What the heck is Desinge doing up there anyway? See, another cup to fill. This is going to be the weirdest cocktail ever. Ooh. Sizzly. You know, if I was a little more scientifically inclined, I might be worried about the effects this stuff is having on any future generations of three foots. Yeah, the folks are rather close to you know what. It's Jock, the electromagnetic monkey. <laughs> okay. Uh, Humphreys, mysterious caustic fluid. Well, we've, all, we've, we've more than locked before. So I don't want to pour acid on that. It could get scarred. Or worse, acid washed. Okay. Ain't that an actual technique to clean things? I don't want to waste my last Blood Island volcano shot on that. How are we going to open that then? Can we use the eye on him to get it colored? The eye only captures the color of other living eyes. Uh, I think. Wait, I think you're gonna need to give the eye to uh, someone else in prison. Yeah, but I think he'll want it colored first. Otherwise, uh, yeah, uh, it but will look blind, he... but he's he'll be blind anyways. Uh, he he has one working eye. You need to have it look at his eye. I think. Up for that. Also, why is it zoomed out like this? The Oro? Oro? What? Look, I'm sorry about the jail time, but you've got to stop testifying against me. I've got a wife and scores of pirates to cure. You're going to cure the pox? Eventually, yeah. Oh, I'd like that. All these pox pirates are always making fun of me for not being poxed. Well, come on then, let's do some business. Maybe. What can you offer me in return? See? Uh, porcelain power pirate, come on. <laughs> we, like he's going to trust us on that. Uh, Seconds find a gla uh, glass eye. How about I get you a glass eye for your eye hole? That sounds interesting. It's a deal. But I knew there'd be a big noisy butt somewhere in there. I want a really cool glass eye. And what, pray tell, makes a cool glass eye? has to have a really cool color. Like the color in the eyes of those nasty pox pirates when they're really, really angry. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Okay, so uh -huh. he wants a red eye. Okay, that's going to complicate things a bit. Not really. We have someone you... We actually have a few people... Uh, it's probably easier to anger the one that's feeding the cat. Yeah, also we probably know what's going on here. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Oh, Councillor Threepwood! <laughs> what can I do for you? No hard feelings about being humiliated in open court? No worries, mate. I've been humiliated so often it's kind of second nature to me by now. Great. Besides, oh. I didn't really think it was much of a case anyway. But that Stan fella, he seemed to think I could make a pretty piece of it off of your untimely execution. So I figured, huh, what the heck? Stan. Uh, um, okay. Well, we have been... Uh, I, I think he'd be pretty fed up with uh, our justice make on him. Yeah, like, like he said, we locked him in a freaking coffin for three months. <laughs> That's just one of the things we did to him. Uh, Rascal, do we have it coming? I'd like to go into the jungle. I need to talk to a large voodoo lady about a not-so-large sponge. Sorry, mate. I'm afraid I can't allow prisoners to wander out into the jungle. You might get lost or go into hiding. But I'm not a prisoner. I'm the prisoner's attorney, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Hmm. Well, that is a stumper, all right. But uh, just to be on the safe side, I think it would be for the best if I kept both Guybrush Threepwoods out of the jungle until their trials are over. Okay, okay he's not, he's not complete at all. Yeah, he's not going to let us bullshit him again. <laughs> what are you doing on Flotsam Island, anyway? Well, <coughs> after that series of misadventures on Spinner K, I found myself without a captain or a ship. Sorry about that. Eh, it happens. So I drifted for a bit before landing here on Flotsam. 
Now I've hired on as Judge Grindstump's personal bailiff slash chef, creating all sorts of new delicacies for his nightclub. It's a bit of a dream come true, it is. Okay, nice to hear that he landed safely on his feet. Yeah! How's the Pox of Lechuck treating you? Oh, it's not so bad. I mean, there is the incessant drive to commit acts of monstrous evil, of course. It's a bit of a drag on the social life. But my pillaging swing has never been better. So, well, I guess you could say it's a bit of a wash. <coughs> hmm. Tell you one thing I didn't expect. The slaw cravings. I mean, honestly, mate, what's that all about? That's a new one. I will be... Tell you... Was it slaw? A bit of a ga... Oh... I think there was a gag with coleslaw before in the series. Actually, repeatedly from Le Shock. Yeah. What are you? Uh oh. Hey. So it, it looks like a photo. <laughs> like a. It looked this. It, you need it to get. <laughs> You need to get the one angry for that. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that long distance, though, since it has still a pretty good distance on it. Uh, let's see how we, if we can... Hey, Hemlock, mind if I capture your eye color? What the what now? Hey! I think the Thanks. problem... The problem is going to be to annoy them and then be quick enough to pull it out or something. Hi there, Twinkle Toes. Enjoy your last one. I'd be... How's Miss Tre... <laughs> she whiskers! Listen up. Yeah, but we can't interact in the same... Um, as we can't interact at the same time as we pissed them off, so we're going to have to put that thing down somewhere. I think. I brushed your steed something dangerous. I wonder what other treasures yeah, I can put, steal, um, liberate from here. Yeah, put his, uh, hook near his eye. Yeah, that does pretty cringe me for- I actually I almost done that, cool. like... I was, I was taking a knife to go and clean it, and I was about to sneeze and rose my arm, I stopped myself and realized I was still holding the knife in that arm I was to cover myself with. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 typically, uh, I typically sneeze into my left arm whilst I typically use, uh, hold stuff with my right. So, yeah. Yeah. Huh? There was a replay. I, I, I just glad I was well, able to down, catch it just in time. Uh, For, it was just not the end enough. It was one of those... Very sharp ceramic knives. You know the really sharp ones. Yeah, I, I I've seen a, uh, you know those types of shows of like how it uh, how it's made. Like that's literally the name of the show, how it's made. I've seen an episode of that on porcelain knives, and uh, yeah, let's see that one of those episodes made me a bit uncomfortable with it because it was made uh, because the guy who makes them tests uh, them by uh, yeah yeah I'll, I'll stop there because now the winds are blowing in again yeah. flotsam island is once more soaking up most of the pox of the chuck let me guess he tries it in some rather unnerving way yep and yeah let's, let's leave it that bloody that and i got two of those knives and i this is it, this we like take them to to clean themselves they are not leaving the cleaning room or the, the sink until I put them back in the safe or scabber, or you would call it, for safety reasons. Hey, it's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Oh, Councillor Threepwood, <laughs> what can I do for you? Let's head back in. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. Alrighty then, let's find Judge Grindstump. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is back in session. The Right Honorable Wallace P. Grindstump presiding. Let's keep it moving, Captain Threepwood! Mm. 
I uh, don't know what to do. That's why you should have a lawyer, you blithering bladder skate! <laughs> Sorry. Look, Threepwood, it's pretty easy. You can call witnesses for any of the cases. Once they're on the stand, you can question them, confront them with evidence from the evidence table, if it's pertinent to the case, or attempt to confront them with new evidence that you've brought into court. You'd best be careful about that last one, though. <laughs> Nothing gets on me nerves more than a defendant attempted to clog my court with useless chunks of jetsam! And of course, you can always ask for a recess so you can check your briefs. Thanks. Also, blattering bladder skites. That should sound familiar. Oh no, I do what. Duck. Goose? <laughs> it, duck tails. <laughs> what? Duck him? What? No, duck tails. That's this activation oh. code for... Uh, I forget the name of the character. Gizmo duck. Uh, That's the activation code for the gizmo duck suit. Oh, right. Gizmo duck. Okay. Uh, let's see Probably the else. only duck in the show that got to, to keep his name. Uh, oh, Boos, I thought you said Blossom. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 what? Blossom Cribs, what? I'd like to call Hemlock McGee to the stand. Hemlock McGee! What's that? Oh. And do you swear on Blackbeard? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 listen, Pinky. I knew Blackbeard back when he was bloody black peach fuzz. Just let me at him. Let me at him. Ensign McGee, it's your contention that Captain Threepwood injured your cat. Injured? He practically crushed him. Hit him right in the puss with a stuffed melody, and he did. And how is your yeah. cat today? Uh, See for yourself. The poor deer is paralyzed with fear. I have to feed her through a tube. Oh, my poor uh, Miss Pretty Whiskers. Oh, pretty, whiskers. pretty Whiskers. Your witness, kid. We saw you feed a kid with a fork. Yeah, and... <laughs> I do have to say, there is... If some, if you were to be paralyzed like that, where you, you are still fully aware, but you just can't move a muscle, basically petrification without, uh, yeah, it's horrible. Being petri turned to stone. It's yeah, horrible. I, 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 I've been in a similar state. It's horrible. Yeah, I've heard that the sleep paralysis can. <clears throat> You know, sleep paralysis uh, causes that. And it, yeah, people oh. have gone through that. Uh, yeah, they say a hard nope on a second run. For me, it was more of a, I was unaware that my medication would have that reaction to alcohol, even the smallest amount. Yeah, I was about to say medication and alcohol don't mix at the very least. Yeah. And what happened during a Warhammer gameplay with a friend on a table? I collapsed it with my head in front of a space marine. I, I couldn't move my eyes, I could speak, but they had to carry me to a, a couch. Okay. And it was, it was drinking cider, for they had no soda. I, I was 17 by then, and I thought they had added that house. Uh, this is just like... I think it was like one... 3% alcohol or something, but very low alcohol halt in the cider, and I drank like one fifth of it or something, and it was enough to slowly just realize that uh, something's going on with my dunk. Uh, oh, sorry, so I like then I, I, yeah, 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 yeah so then I've been avoid alcohol. Yeah. I think I've said multiple times already that I don't really like alcohol because I, for some reason I can only taste like the alcohol in it and not any actual taste that's in it or something. I, I recommend alcohol-free drinks. Like, I can apparently drink some alcohol-free drinks that are like 0 0.5 and such, so like extremely low. So I could recommend you maybe try those for those are likely more flavor. Then there's alcohol taking over. 
technically you're not even supposed to be able to taste alcohol or something or maybe it's the vapors or something anyways i just like i like how the <laughs> Just is shaking his head no as a he, he looks about ready to smash our skull in with his cavil at any second. Wait. Ain't his eyes red? Uh, yeah. But I, I think the I think Doro wants the uh, when the entire thing is red. But we can test that out at the bar in another recess. Yep. Hmm. Also Do we Go ahead. Uh, was it, did we find any evidence on uh, about the cat? Uh, no, I, I I think the thing we need to do with the cat is defeat it something, uh, uh, defeat it something <laughs> that causes it to freak the hell out and uh, unparalyze itself. And I'm guessing it's going to be a mixture of all the stuff we collected. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh, wait, does that mean you you actually gonna pl uh, put your alchemy skills to the test? Probably. We're doomed. Uh, anyway, we had... His voice probably was a bit of a hint towards, but apparently I, we only got introduced to Hemlock once he was already infested with the pox, or infected, whatever word could... Well, infected would be better. I think infested is more when... Uh, yeah you were dealing with parasites or something like that. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't look that old. This old cat thing is a scam to get back at me for getting you kicked out of Club 41, isn't it? How can you look at my sad little pussy cat and call me a liar? <laughs> oh, just look at her. <clears throat> oh. Admit it, you're nothing but a no-good, no-legged, stinky liar. Objection, defense is mocking my client's disability. Sustained! The defense will refrain from insulting the witness's pungent body odor. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Uh. I have no more questions for this witness, Your Honor. You may step down, Ensign McGee. <laughs> he certainly talks all. Um, yeah, I, I have to say that they are all reusing some body models, just giving a little bit their different faces and such. Yeah. Hmm. I doubt we can screw with the evidence whilst we are here. I don't. We're not feeding that to the cat. Ten glass? What? Hmm. So we found this. It's a broken draw a beard on Guybrush toy. Hmm. Looks like it's leaking iron fillings. We're going to need that those iron fillings for something. That empty nacho plate is making me hungry. I actually was thinking about buying a bag of nacho chips earlier today, but I already got enough stuff. I almost bought, bought some Pringles for the will say, but I resisted. But I'm actually cutting down on snacks a bit. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my bailiff. Oh yeah, you're back here again. Okay, can we actually try to? Uh, which one was it? Caustic fluids. I don't want to pour acid on that. It could get scarred. Or worse, acid washed. Really? I don't want to pour... No, not that either. I think we're going to have to be screwed with this thing somehow. I don't want to waste my... I don't think I should be splashing molten glass on that. Hey, guard! What do you want? I want to see my lawyer. Again? Here we go. And, okay. I'm not getting any smarter. <laughs> hmm. Oh, dear. Hmm. About snacks, I'm going to grab some. All right. But don't try to escape the game. I was just checking the hinge frequency because... 
Yeah, I don't know what to try next. Actually, yeah, let's see if we can get the eye color. Yep. No, no, he said he said he wants their eye color when they get really mad. So we, that again that makes me think we need to do something to have it be, get set off. Would you mind own. holding still for a moment? I think you've got something in your eye. I do. Uh, where? Yeah, he has brown eyes, so that's not going to work. Nope. Guess I was wrong. Well, thanks for checking. I, I just realized something. Maybe you should give someone a drink that makes them very angry. Maybe. And also, I saw one of the uh, other female parents at the court. Okay, I didn't keep much of an eye on the crowds. I don't want to pour acid on that. It could, yeah, you, I don't think you want to pour acid on the on the judge in any way, shape, or form. Rather, rather don't pour judge on the judge and barkeep. Actually, that sounds like a deadly combo. Some of the boosts are judge and barkeep. Uh, I'll take. Wargeeps have a, have a reputation of hearing a lot of things because people well, tend to get chatty when they're drunk and all that. Uh, but I don't think anything a judge would, uh, would be able to overhear outside of a court uh, would be admissible as evidence. And it'd be more, it'd be more, they'd actually have to recuse themselves if they heard stuff like that. Yeah, no. They probably have quite an easy time when they see on a doing a ball fight. They, they will know who is guilty of the fight, you sh probably. I don't want to waste my last Blood Island volcano shot on that. Hmm. Let's take a little check here. Goro, counterfeit collectibles. Hmm. Again, that's me. Eight seven dice, what? It's a nacho sauce. We should, yeah, we should probably look around the button. Look around Club 41 more for what might actually have caused the burn. But I'm also waiting for Guybrush to give a hint again. We have one empty cup here. Can we actually try mixing these together or something? It spoke about stealing treasures. Yeah, I, I think that was before we got the molten glass, so that might have been that. Mm. Yeah, let's let's try and wait. Uh, let's just go look at the club again and see if Kybras pipes up. Oh, wax. Okay, that's our last ingredient then, I'm guessing. And the question is going to be how we're going to... Nothing like a little hot this. wax on a cold flotsam night. Uh, hot wax. You can't burn yourself on wax. Yeah. Uh, that reminds me of a story with something. Uh... I don't, th I don't think I actually want to tell this one because it's uh, very, <laughs> very pain cringe like. So yeah, it's, we're faint from death. <laughs> it's a, is it a, a king or a torture? Uh, neither. There was a bit of an accident when, uh, well, someone was working with wax with intimate parts. Well, yeah, yeah, probably best to not speak too much on it on stream that yeah. might give people nightmares hmm. and we yeah i doubted that already hmm okay. okay what do we need to go do looks painting I think the only reason, I think the only way that we can get a, a, a pox red eye is by setting this thing up somewhere to go off. 
What actually happens if we use Dun Morgan? What are you doing? Capturing the eyes of a backstabber. Whatever. Blossom's gone to heck in a handbasket since the pox settled in. <gasps> There's puddles of dangerous goo everywhere. <laughs> okay, guy was just sliding around for a bit. Hmm. Yep, and he did he give us a clue? Yeah, the puddles, but we've already filled all of four of our cups. For, uh, four bits, six. That's at least we can get more. Hey, WP. Captain Threefwood, what can I do you for? Barkeep, I'd like to order a drink. What'll it be? How about some more of those volcano shots? Sorry, uh, one per customer. Okay, no explanation. Probably believe for a reason. No, that and they can't keep handing these out everywhere. Hmm. Uh, that too. Do I, I would not be surprised if there's a health reason. Let, let's go take a look at what Duro's natural eye color is. Then I think we can copy that maybe from him and then dye the, the rest of the eyes somehow. Hey, Doro. What? I've got an eye for you. It's nice, but... But... I really had my heart set on a cool glass eye that glows. Glows? Oh, you know? Like all the cool, poxed pirate's eyes glow when they get angry. You want to look like an out-of-control, diseased pirate? Oh, see. Si. Then all the pirates will fear and respect the name of Joaquin Doro. No, they won't. Can we use that thing on... I just want to see how his rea how his Hey, Stan, reaction. mind if I capture your eye color for posterity? No problemo, Threepwood. Just as long as old Stan gets a cut of the reproduction profits. Um, sure? Um... Uh... Whoa! That really puts the spots in the old pupils, doesn't it? Okay, I was going to say, he's not even going to blink. <laughs> and it's a very <laughs> tiny... I can't read the name! <laughs> Yeah, Stan Abney. Okay, let's go take a look here again with people. Just to double check. Maybe we've seen that the the white of the eye turns red, but does the Hi there, twinkle toes. Pupil Enjoy actually change as well. I'd be happy. Oh, how's Miss Barfy Whiskers doing? What? Barfy Whiskers? For the last time, you dancing dunce! Okay, it turns a sort of white like. Let's check that again. Oh, how's Miss. What? Barfy Whiskers? For the last time, you dancing dunce! <laughs> Her name is Miss Pretty Whiskers! The shaking is really not. Looks to be like a, a yellow that it turns on the rounds of pupil. The, the shaking really doesn't help with being able to see or not. I thought they'd stop with that. The question is how? Say there, unbiased citizen. What do you want? <laughs> Unless are we to make him angry? Oh, I think I see what we can do here. Yeah. The eye only captures the color of other living eyes. Yeah, I, I thought we could I use what it. other treasures we I could steal, um, liberate from here. I thought we could put it on top of it. Yeah, I was hoping for that. Look, an eight-legged alpaca! Your fancy cryptozoology tricks won't fool me, laddie! <laughs> okay, eight-legged so alpaca. I say this now. It n it's not Odin's. Hello there, uninformed man on the street. What do you want? <coughs> Why did someone order all those? I told you not to ask me that! It's part of the game! 
It, it seems to turn from red to yellow yeah. on the eye. So, do we know someone with yellow eyes? Who go? Oh, it's green. And also good on hard tack for knowing how to roll with embarrassments because yeah, just letting it faster and be pissed off about that. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Yeah. But holy heck, what? Do I want us to find the younger monster or something? Okay, I got stuck behind this desk, behind this table for a second. Uh, can we? Yes, we can. And that chases it off. Hmm. Is that going to be important? Seagull black. Yeah, I don't think it's. Com it's uh, we need to it's combine eye right colors. Since it, we feel like it would be obvious if we could do that. I think for now the game is wanting us to steal the leg. We've already. We should have all of the. Uh, I wonder what Krebs alleged Nacho Burn looks like anyway. Okay, that's a new hint. Wait, we do have the wax. Like to return. Oh, the pirate caught the Flotsam Island. Time is. Yep, that was a new line. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Let's see what this. I'd like looks to call like Bosun Catherine Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs, do you oh. swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling, backstabbing pirate? Aye. Bosun Krebs. Could you tell the court what happened on that fateful day? I, I was minding my own business at Club 41 with a mug full of grog and some zesty nachos, when all of a sudden that blindfolded Jasper barreled into me, knocked me nacho sauce into me lap, and gave me this disfiguring scar. Mochi, mochi. Aye, that takes me back. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's wax. Ooh. Bailiff! Supply the prosecutor and the defendant with sketches of the burns for their briefs! Oi, oi, your honor! Lots of luck, kid. That looked like a bit more of a... Okay, he just drew the entire leg. Dicky, it's hard to believe that nacho sauce could do that. Hmm. Yeah, that's... that's the wax. The wax had a color. And the wax is blue. Okay, what she has here is purple, but that's Icky. well ink over Hard to it. believe that Nacho. Hmm. Let's go chat with them. You're lying about this whole Nacho business, aren't you? Nay. Are you lying about being a mighty pirate? I'll ask the questions here. <laughs> In just a moment, Your Honor. Your Honor, I'd like to introduce this caustic agent into evidence as an alternative cause of Bosun Catherine's burns. Oh yeah? Prove it. Objection. Defense is trying to cloud the issue. Sustained! Captain Threeborn, if you have an alternate theory as to the cause of the Bosun's horrific injury, do the court the courtesy of fleshing it out before introducing random cups of bubbling goo into evidence! So we're going to need something to replicate the burn on. Hopefully not ourselves. Not the cat. Well, I don't think that would be admissible as evidence. From a skeleton? I doubt that. Your Honor, I'd like to introduce this caustic agent into evidence. Oh, yeah? Objection. Defense is trying to... Sus! Hmm. Okay, how can we test that, then? Is there anything else we can check here? Wait, can we... Wait, can we look at the nacho plate? Bolson Krebs, 
You don't really expect this court to believe that the nacho sauce I allegedly spilled onto your leg from this platter actually scarred your leg, do you? Arr, but it did. See for yourself. Hachi machi! Hot manatee oil is a precious resource. I shouldn't splash it around all willy-nilly. If it would please the manatee court, objection oil. That piece of mm, yeah, I'm, I'm running a bit stumped here. I, I don't really know what the game wants me to do. Like, the only way that I think we can try and replicate the burn is while burning tree wood. <laughs> Okay, is this it a rare case we need to look it up? Yeah, I'm going to look up for a hint because the game's ones aren't too obvious. Or they are not supposed to be obvious, but I don't see where the hell we're going to need to replicate the burn somehow. Uh, yeah, it's uh, not being helpful. Maybe we even get a hint of which we should do next to begin with. It'd be a bit bad to be using the wrong witness in wrong order. Tales of Monkey Island, Burn, which isn't going to be enough, Trial of Cargo Street Words. Can you do that in my class? And so the people is not wrong. Uh, let's see, search on page or finding page, Burn, goes all the way back, okay. But, uh, that person is Guybrush on the stand. But... Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, there's a there's a lamp shaped like a leg. Okay, recess. Okay, yeah. She might be too early, I guess. Hey, guards! What do you? What? A... Not getting any smarter. Oh, pardon? Yeah, pardon. Yeah, like I, I guess I get. I guess a bit uh, burpy when I uh, when my fizzy drink is not dil heavily diluted by ice. Whoops! Hey! Arr. Now look what you did! Arr. You clumsy clam clipper! You ruined my prototype! Now I'll have to start all over! Arr. So if it's messed up, can I have it? Fine, take it! Just get out of me sight! Arr. Is help me get a leg up in the trial? Oh, come on! Stealing Helium's yokes. It truly really is a pirate. Okay. Well, what? Did you whimper? No, I chuckled. Oh, all right. The pirate court of Flotsam Island is. Yes, yes, get on with it! <laughs> okay, I, I think I'm going to cut that bit out for a clip. <clears throat> uh, yeah, witness. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to recall Bosun Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs! Now oh, remember, darling, you're still under oath. I. Darling? Uh, uh, Lambert of Blue Boots? What? Wait, are each of these going to cause different sig symbols? Really? <laughs> the, the, how? <laughs> okay, so we just need to get something that is like that, but with but purple. Okay, hot grease is the green skull. Okay, volcano shot is just a plain burn. It, try the blue one. I think we used that one first. It gives the blue boots. Let's see. Hot grease gives uh, impartial a partial skull. 
Parrot shaped. Parrot shaped? What? <laughs> what he said. Molten glass. It's also just. Right? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we can't get purple. We can get a skull, but we can't get a purple. Wait, it changed. Okay, it's a it's a mix puzzle. If we do this now, it clears it out. Okay, so we just need to one thing for the shape and then the next for the color. one is a skull but now that's the parrot one what so he has is a full skull that nacho yeah all right so we need the, the wax uh, Wait, what? wasn't that a different color just now no no it, 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 you you succeeded to change this color okay that's there you go. the correct color from the now volcano you shot now, if you put it in another order, you should be able to... There we go. So that a mixture of Volcano Shot and Hot Wax. Okay. And that makes sense for those both were in the bar. And it was Wax spin on the floor. Honor, I'd like to introduce this leg lamp into evidence as proof that Bosun Catherine Krebs is lying about her so-called nacho sauce burn. This proves nothing! Objection, Your Honor. The scars on this leg-shaped lamp may look like my clients, but who knows how they got there? I'm glad you asked. So you see, Your Honor, Catherine's distinctive burns were not caused by Club 41's nacho sauce, but by an unlikely combination of scalding fluids found throughout Flotsam Island. Isn't that true, Bosun Krebs? Answer the question, <laughs> you she-devil! It's true. After Guybrush knocked that platter of nachos onto my lap, I saw my chance for revenge and concocted this foolish scheme. Revenge? You still what? don't remember me? The woman whose ship you sunk? Who spent years languishing in prison for Wait. your crimes? The woman whose husband no. you humiliated in that creepy karaoke no. contest? Nope. Sorry. You're on a blank. Arr! Your Honor, I move that Bosun Catherine Krebs' charge be dropped. Counselor! Hey. I got nothing, Your Honor. Very well! In the matter of Krebs versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam Island finds in favor of the defendant what? Guy Rush Threepwood! Oh, first no! Get off, you lot! I was expecting her to be revealed, like... Captain, <laughs> uh, what was Captain? Mm, Who was her as well? But no, she had a very man. different personality, an accent. Okay, that's and... two charges down. Yeah, uh, okay. I, I have. Wait. Oh wait, Re... is this a side effect of the shock that everyone wants revenge on like La uh, guy brush? Yep. And I think I just realized something up with the, the cat. Your Honor. Oh, okay, after a few times, they could just skip hey, Swayze out of here. What is uh, not getting any smarter. Yeah, that's definitely two clips that we can take from this stream. <laughs> <laughs> to be randomly inserted into places. But uh, Guybrush was saying something about iron deficiency, possibly. So, what if we try to put some of that iron, you know, the iron filings, into the cat food? Leave it taste be better and more tasty. <laughs> hey, look, a five-headed bonobo. I didn't see nothing! <coughs> Sorry, must have been a weather balloon. <laughs> really? Okay, so now the cat is getting iron, getting fed iron. 
and that might unparalyze it. I hope Miss Pretty Whiskers appreciates all the iron supplements I've given her. Boy, was this side effect of getting too much iron? I'm not sure. I'm not. I know you're definitely not supposed to have a shortage of uh, iron in your diet, but too much, I'm not sure. Who go? Uh I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty then. Let the pirate court of Flotsam Island is. Yes, yes, get on with it! I'd like to call Hemlock McGee back to the stand. Hem I'm right here. <laughs> I'd like to remind. Yeah, I'm still under oath. <laughs> Even the characters are getting sick of getting called back and forth all the time. This whole cat thing is a scam to get back at me for getting you kicked out of Club 41, isn't it? Okay. Oh. I just. We need to get a reaction out of the cat now that it's had iron. Jump, girl. Go to your master. <laughs> Miss Pretty Whisker. Out and free, boy. Quit tormenting Ensign McGee's cat and get on with your case. Assuming you have one. <laughs> didn't expect that. Uh, I guess it's still Here. freaking paralyzed. <laughs> Or do we need to shove a magnet into somewhere? Uh, Wait, hmm. Magnet? Have we seen the magnet? No, oh no. So. Oh no. Do we... Do we have to go to the lab? We haven't actually tried to go in there, but I... I, I have to... Yeah, I have the assumption that the door is closed. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's go check it out. You're bailiff! Boy up. Right now you could just send me out unless there is something in here that we need to find. Can we I don't think we can. That doesn't need to be illuminated. Illuminated. Yeah, I should hey, definitely God. keep using ice in my drinks, otherwise I... I see, uh, too much bubble. Not getting any smarter. So, pot horn burps and people. Hmm. Uh, wait, didn't I once accidentally burp during the intro? Maybe. <laughs> Loudly, even? <laughs> I think you recall that you ended up laughing hard. Uh, wait, boy, stay away from my laboratory. Wait, the electromagnetic monkey case? That doesn't need to be illuminated. Electromagnetic. Why is it electromagnetic? Let's see if this will work. Aha. Come on, let's get you out of here. Hey, okay. can you take a look or are you to use the monkey? Oh, there's a monkey in my pocket. He's attracting all my change. His tail is a magnet and I think that he's got mange. <laughs> the monkey is the key. Can I just make a pun? Can I just make a... I believe me, Ilian! Uh, Who go? Like, oh, the pirate court of... Yes, yes! I think I have an idea now. Um, I'd like to... Hmm? <laughs> What if we one day they give you a little challenge and if you fail, you get to wear a wig as him over there on your avatar? Your Honor, 
pirates and assorted buccaneers? <laughs> Hemlock McGee has asserted that it was I, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, that brought about the horrible emotional scars that even now leave poor Miss Pretty Whiskers paralyzed with fear. But I put it to you that it was not your humble defendant who traumatized Hemlock's unfortunate feline, but a far more insidious assailant, the one who's in this very courtroom as I speak. Jacuz! Jacques the monkey! What? Objection, there's no evidence of monkey play here. No? Let's ask the victim. Miss Pretty Whiskers is up and about and seeking revenge just like a good pirate cat should. Miss Pretty Whiskers, come back! <laughs> we'll get our revenge together. Your Honor, I rest my case. Mr. Prosecutor! Well, considering that my client and evidence just ran out the door, I guess old Stan's gonna have to drop this one. Good idea! In the case of McGee and Pretty Whiskers versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam mm. finds in favor of the defendant, Guy Brush Threepwood! Come on, Gudge, get him with the pox! Don't make me send the bailiff up there! Okay, that leaves only <coughs> one to go. Uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, don't make me send up the bailiff up there. Let's take a look at the bailiff. <laughs> Does it look terrifying to you? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> and that still remains leaves the question of what the how the hell we're supposed to capture one of the pox pirates is with their uh, with the, this thing. Well, we're waiting. Yeah, I got no idea. We've got nine more minutes about, so we just look up a hint on how to get the, the pox eye. Yeah, let's do that for I feel like we are missing something here. Yeah, uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Recess, burn, grease, no. McGee. Da -da. Yeah, that's the monkey, Doro. Okay, get the item to bribe, glasswork, get the eye color, go to the courthouse, ask Hardtack to return to court, okay. Call the witness, guy rest trick words, what? Oh. We have to call ourselves as a witness, what is apparently? Your Honor, I'd like to call Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, to the stand. Guybrush Threepwood! Yeah. I'm right here. Oh, right. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling backstabbing pirate? Ooh, what's this log made of? Calf leather? I just can't find craftsmanship like this these days. <coughs> oh, I do. Uh, what are you even feeling? You were tossing it to hook your dumb ass. Uh... Captain Sheepgood. At Reapwood. Come on. Ah, yes. Shreveport. Reapwood. Greensleeves. Reapwood. Treebeard? The Reap. Sleep. Wood. Stack. Objection. Defense is stalling. The defense will get on with it! Or the court will order his name legally changed to Captain Guts for Daughters! Oh, now he's. <laughs> Hold that crazy pose. Gotcha. There we go. I thought we'd have to go around a bit of trigger. Right. Where were we? Okay. Now we can bribe Doro. You're bailiff. Oi, oi, you're. Yeah, I, I didn't think we could get anything out of hey, calling ourselves as a witness. Uh. I'm not getting any smart. Okay, oh, the... that was funny though. Wait, what? Hold on. Was that part not recognized? Uh, which part? Wait, did you hear me burp just now? Uh, if you did, then I probably talked over it. No, I, I think the microphone did not recognize the 
Burr, but I, I guess it only recognizes some sound frequency. Uh, maybe this purpose is not made. It ignored. Could be. I hope it was about to get loud. Do you have it? One nigh indestructible glass eye, pox colored, just like all the cool pirates are wearing. Hachi Santa Vica and Santa Fe. Ay, 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 ay. My eye is really scary. Now, according to Crimp Digit, all you have to do to set it is pop it in your eye socket. Ooh. How do I look? Dangerous. I think you mean dangerously cool, eh? Sure, whatever. Now, about your testimony. No problem, mi amigo. Just call me back to the stand and ask me about this. Your Dark Ninja Dave Porcelain Power Pirates treasure map? I'll just smuggle this into here. In my, uh, let's say, mouth. Let's say ma. And, uh. Yes, but at least it's clean. I was to say, I thought I saw a brown stain on it. The pirate caught. Yes, yes, get on with it! I'd like to call Joaquin Jacinto de Meara Alfonso de Oro to the stand. Joaquin de Oro! Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling backstabbing pirate? See? Si? Senor de Oro. Captain Doro. Yes, of course. Why are you here today? I was recently arrested for trying to sell a counterfeit Dark Ninja Dave Porcelain Power Pirate figurine. A counterfeit figurine. Crafted by Guybrush Threepwood. <gasps> Actually, that, that wasn't so surprising. Your witness, counselor. Uh, wasn't he getting the, was he, he collecting those things for himself or was he just collecting them all to sell? <laughs> oh well. Captain Dora, what can you tell me about this map? Objection! Uh, Defense Exhibit 42, Your Honor. This is the map the witness used to find his Dark Ninja Dave Power Pirate. I'll allow it! But uh, you're eternally flapping mouth, you festering chum hole! Continue. I purchased this map at eBay six months ago from a traveling salesman with a plaid jacket and waving arms. Hello. He said that it was an authentic Dark Ninja Day Porcelain Power Pirates treasure map, but I have since learned that it was just as counterfeit as the Power Pirate it led me to. And who was the dastardly swindler who sold you this map? It was... Hey, would you look at that? I misfiled my glorious Mundus. Your Honor, on behalf of the Porcelain Power Pirates Corporation, I'd like to ask that all charges pertaining to the unfortunate counterfeiting of the Dark Ninja Dave action figure be dropped against Captains Joaquin de Oro and Guybrush Threepwood. Smart move, Counselor! In the matter of Porcelain Power Pirates versus de Oro, de Oro versus Threepwood, etc., 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 this court finds in favor of the defendants! All this justice? Where's the hangings? You want hangings? Just keep it up, you swabs! Ah, let's see here. Cleared? Hmm. Dropped? Hmm. Yes. Congratulations, Captain Threepwood. It appears that you have successfully gotten yourself out from under your various civil charges. Shiver me timbers, Stumpy. I guess I'll be going now. Hold on, what's this? There appears to be a criminal charge on the other side of this blasted um, paper. Huh? Assault with molten nacho cheese isn't criminal? What else is there? The creation, incubation, dissemination, proliferation, and mastication of a pox or pox-like affliction. A class one felonious act here on Flux. Yay, oh, pox! How do you plead? Uh, this is going to be one of those lines where we <laughs> he's going to say something different anyways, isn't he? Okay, I thought we almost ducked out of all of this, but apparently not, because, yeah, we are kind of guilty about this, but we didn't you intend are. to spread it. But, wait. Not guilty. On what grounds? The pox isn't my fault, it's LeChuck's. It all started with the cursed Cutlass of Kaflu. Off the Rock of Gelato, LeChuck was doing something evil with monkeys, and I was all brrrr. But then LeChuck broke my root beer bottle, and I had to substitute some of the voodoo ladies' ingredients, and then LeChuck turned into a human, and all this voodoo went boom, and... Well, it's not my fault. Your Honor, the defendant is hand-waving. And believe me, I know from hand-waving. 
But seriously, we all know that the cloud of pox vexing this fair island arrived soon after the defendant and his oozing appendage crept upon these shores. Disgustifying it was. Then, after infecting everyone in sight, the pox cloud magically blew away at exactly the same moment that Guybrush sailed away, stealing Flotsam's only ship, I might add. I won that ship, fair and square. Now, Threepwood has returned, and so has the Cloud of Pox. What a coincidence. And yet here he stands, concocting fanciful stories of a human lichuk, voodoo cutlasses, and a so-called rock of gelato. Well, Threepwood, do you have any witnesses to your unlikely tale? Um, I do. She's... Uh, hello? Uh, uh -oh. Wonder Bunny. A fast, ye blubbering belugas! I'm sucking your port! Bring me all your spoiled swags, booty and booty! Lane? Let's plunder more bunny, please. And you, me bunny lass, step into me captain's quarters and let me ravish you. Oh, silly. boy. Ah, <laughs> to finally hold you in me arms again, it makes me want to. What's this? The scent of betrayal? Who is this tawdry witch? Uh, nobody. No one. She'll die by me rusty bell! Oh, my witness. Then she must be summoned. Bailiff, serve the woman immediately. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, you'd better be using the voodoo summons. That saucy sea hag doesn't look like she be respecting the customs of pirate law. Aye, aye, sir. But first, hold the defendant's pox-spreading keister back to the brig. All right, you. Stay put until I summon your ball and chain. Um, I wouldn't call her that. She... Oh, might... <laughs> Oof. Take exception. What happened to you? Oh, I'll tell you what happened. Oh, I went to Club 41 to hand this summons to your better half, and she backhanded me right out of the bar. Oh. Ouch. If you want that banshee on the stand, you're gonna have to serve her yourself. Ugh. Banshee? Ugh. Well, I guess there's more to this chapter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought we were about to end the next chapter without the entry. Oh, I'm gonna go see if the local doctor can fix me jawbone. Uh, you might not want to... Okay, uh, enjoy never having a jaw again. What the...? Oh, ladies night. Guybrush, your wife has lost her mind. And you're about to lose a limb, you sea cow. Elaine, sugar cakes, let's stop fighting and work this out over a nice cold light grog. It's her head or yours, bilge boy. Or you two can just figure out this little misunderstanding on your own. I'll be over here appreciating my head's ability to stay attached to my neck. I can't tell if this is the box effect or if Elaine is actually this pissed off because her eyes aren't poxed, and that's a very dangerous game. Yeah, and I heard that some military does that, but when others have outright forbidden it. Yeah, because you can lose a freaking finger. Uh, but we'll have to call it here, though, because yes. our two Don't hours are up. Don't forget to save. Yep. Uh, <laughs> There we go. Just as Guy Brush is hit with the biggest charge of all, spring the pox of Lechuk. <clears throat> Elaine arrives on Flotsam Island, crazed with the pox and looking for the blood of Morgan Le Flay. Guy Brush thinks he's making an I uh, thinks he'll make an ideal witness, but first he he's got to drag her keys to the court with a voodoo summons. <laughs> uh, I did not expect I I'd seen I'd seen some screenshots of uh, Elaine being infested with the uh, pox, but I, I thought we'd already passed those at the uh, Spin OK. <laughs> mm. For now, though, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're probably going to finish this next time. 
and then we'll move on to the fifth and final chapter. And, well, I hope that Kybrush gets out of all of this alive. Yeah! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, Return to Monkey Island is still supposed to release this year. Uh, though there has been a bit of hoopla about it by uh, fans not being happy with the art style, for which I'd say the game isn't even out yet, and it's, there's only screenshots from what I've seen, and, well, a trailer. So, yeah, just what? go suck a lemon and wait for it to come out, damn it. Yeah, so far, what is it? Also, it looks good, and let's be honest, the art style is changed a lot for each game. It's only the two remasters, they actually had a unified art style, yeah. And, so uh, let's see. Yeah, I say that the art style looks nice. It it looks fitting. Let's see. Someone to raid. Uh, I know. Oh, oh, I, I, I got an axe. I got an axe. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> how are you supposed to raid with an axe or anything sharp or blunty? Is blunty a word? I don't. Maybe for kids. <laughs> a, a blunt weapon. Uh, keep that mouse away from my face. Well, okay. we, oh, I will eat it. Uh, I do know someone to raid this time without having to check around. Uh, it's a friend of a friend. Uh, they're called. They're on Twitch. They're called Brandon the Chihuahua, and they're streaming Stardew Valley. So. Yeah, let's go uh, say hi to them. Also, I think raiding ha raiding is a good way of uh, weeding out bots. Since I I I should double check this, but for raids, I believe most of the time everyone with an with a, an account is added to it. But bots uh, never never get brought along with uh, raids. So that's a good way of seeing if there are any bots in your chat room or not. So. I could be completely wrong with that, though. So, yeah, starting the raids. The raid has been tested. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. For now, though, thank you anyone who's been watching now or later. And tomorrow, we should be, will likely try to stream Minecraft. I, we should have plenty of time for that. I'll, I still need to put together a custom map pack, mod pack for that. Uh, in case the server thing starts to implode, but oh well. Um, but yeah. On that, uh, I was looking around before I played a mod pack called All the Mods 6, which actually now has All the Mods well, 7, so that's been upgraded. So yeah, I'll take a look at that, add some extra stuff in it, and probably pick that up for if we start doing solo Minecraft streams at some point. But for now, uh, yeah, thank you and then how's watching now or later. And uh, as always, special thanks to you, Dirk here. You're most welcome, my friend. Now, where's um, my axe? <laughs> and yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for headless seagulls. Yeah.